In the next one, we're going to have a look at how to intercept our partner's lead hook into a clinch and then how to manipulate them in the clinch with a little bit of footwork leading to knees. Okay, so we'll go from the nervous side first. So if Paul throws got a wide hook, okay, I can use what's called an interception. Now when I do this, what I want to do is reach forward and this arm, usually when we're talking to block hooks, everything's nice and tight. This one has to be quite far away from your face, okay? Because if it's only a little bit far, Paul will actually get through that space and he'll hit me anyway. So I've got to go in, I've got to be aggressive with it, using my forearm to hit his bicep, which is gonna hurt. Take control of the back of his tricep with my glove, okay, with my hand. And the other one is gonna go straight to the head. So if he comes in, I step in, and I meet his arm so he can't actually land that hook, okay? I get it uh, intercepted before it gets there. Now from here, I'm going to use my elbow. That's going to stretch all his ribs up. That's going to give me the chance for a knee, okay? Now from here, I'm going to, uh, as I've landed my knee, step down to the outside of his foot. You can't make it wide, okay? It's got to be nice and close. Now you can either keep this grip, okay? Or you can change to uh, the full clinch position. Again, it's completely up to you. You want to keep your head in tight to uh, make sure that there's no basic escapes coming under the chin. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my foot off the floor, my heel off the floor so I can spin, okay? And I'm going to turn to my left, swinging my right leg behind me, okay? And as I turn, my uh, left foot is now at the rear, which means I can pull in for the left knee, okay? So that turn, that pivoting motion, that's going to set me up for a rear knee, okay? So one more, the hook comes in, I intercept it, and I take the head pinch at the same time. I flare my elbow up, knee to the body. I land down, and so you can keep this position if you wish, or change to the, the full position. I pivot round, and I pull into the left knee, okay? Making it really knee, okay? We'll do that again. So, for the first time then, we'll try and get a different position on this, okay? So as Paul throws his hook, I intercept it, okay? Flare the elbow, pull him for the knee, land down to the outside of his foot, heel off the floor, Remember, you can change your position if you choose, keep your head in tight, pull around, and then knee to the body, okay? We'll do one more. So, as Paul goes to throw his hook, remember, we're going in like this. So, from here, there, okay? This one's going to control the head, this one's hitting the bicep. And step in. Straight to there, up, knee. Down to the foot, making sure the heel's up before you go. Either keep this grip or change. Hide your head nice and tight, pull it round, pull in for the knee. Okay? And that's that combination for you.